Hello, this is Eric at the Pinchot Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 in an AT4 trim and powered by a 5.3 liter V8 engine, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing. Also coming with steps down below so you can have an easier time getting in and recently detailed so it's looking nice and clean but let's take a look inside. So first looking in the back seat where you have seating for three very spaciously with a nice full leather interior with brown accents and in the middle you have fold out armrests with two cup holders as well as having two more in the middle there with heated rear seats, USB-C, USB and 12 volt power outlets. Then the seats can also be folded up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo and reveal some storage fins underneath. Do also have fitted rubber floor mats throughout the vehicle and then some storage compartments behind the seat backs actually, which is pretty neat too. And this truck does also have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your vehicle. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, power folding mirrors, and two memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, and I'd assume also your mirrors. Uh, do have a Bose sound system, so your audio is going to sound pretty good, and fully power adjustable front seats. Now sitting in the truck with it running, you can see it's sitting at 39,852 kilometers. Moving down to the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your hands-free phone controls and then your controls for your center info screen here, where you can cycle through things such as your digital speedometer, uh, with distance to empty as well. And you can also go into your info such as distance to empty, once again, oil life, tire pressures, air filter, brake pads, engine hours. Blank page, uh, info page options, trip one and two information, and then you can also go into your audio, navigation, phone, and settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. But then moving on to the left side of the steering wheel where you have your cruise controls as well as the button to engage your heated steering wheel so you can keep your fingers warm in the colder months. And you have your uh, hands-free audio controls on the back side of the steering wheel as you can see. To the left of the steering wheel you have your 4x4 controls as well as your tow haul mode and sport mode and your lighting controls there too. Moving on to your center screen uh, which is Radio Sirius. Let's see and Bluetooth, so you do have some options there for whatever you want to listen to, however you want to listen to it. You have your Bluetooth phone controls, your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels, and your seat controls, or climate controls, I should say, with dual front climate, so you can stay at different temperatures and remain comfortable. You also have all your apps here, such as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, My GMC, you even have weather, so that's pretty neat too. Uh, then you have your screen that has all of it together, so that's cool too. Shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera, so you're going to be able to see where you're going, hopefully avoid hitting anything with a uh, tow hitch lineup and uh, zoom in to have an easier time hooking up a trailer or something of the sort. Uh, moving down from that though, you have your physical media and climate controls here, once again with dual front climate, as well as heated and air conditioned front seats with three levels each, so you can stay comfortable no matter the weather or climate. You do also have hill descent assist, your traction control shut off, or uh, sorry, your auto start stop, so when your vehicle is sitting idle, the engine will shut off to cut down on emissions and save you some fuel. Your remote tailgate release, hazards, traction control shut off, and uh, I guess the switch to activate one of your plugs here. Then you have your trailer brake controller, USB-C, USB, and 12 volt power outlets there, as well as a 115 volt power outlet, I believe. You have your center console area here where you do have a wireless charging pad, so if your phone is compatible, just throw it on there and it'll start to charge. Little cubby here, two cup holders, and your center compartment slash armrest here, which is pretty spacious inside, as you can see, and has your SD, auxiliary, USB, and another USB-C, so you can uh, plug something into power or charge or just hook up your audio that way and then la Just looking back you do also have a power sliding rear window And last but not least you have a power moonroof so you can let the sunshine or a nice breeze while you're up for a cruise But that should cover our look at the interior So now if you're interested feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 Or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day